today right i want to give you guys you know some insights right on you know inheritance right because i got a, a download about it today you know so what i learned basically you know is that when you are you know the last born right of the family or like somehow you are born into a family right even if they've adopted you you know and uh, you are the one that's gonna carry their inheritance right here's what's gonna happen you know you're gonna be the one right that's gonna you know be the sacrifice you understand so on a surface level it's like okay you know you got inheritance you got a house you got some money right but on a deeper level you know when you start to look at it you are carrying your you know that family's karma you understand so nine times out of ten right you are not the chosen one you understand because just because of that you know if you are a chosen one right you're gonna be forced to be you know free right so if you are born with inheritance in your name then there's no way you can be free you know because already you are you, you are bounded to something right that does not belong to you you understand so it's not even your your own but the all the things right that have accumulated to create those you know to manifest those desires right the owner's desires which is the house and uh, all the experiences that have accumulated to for you to inherit those things right it's gonna be your own burden you know and it's gonna trickle down right from the spiritual you know to the physical so what i mean exactly is on a surface level right on a physical level it may be that you know that house has like some debts right that need to be paid off and on a spiritual level you have now the blood right your own blood everything that goes on with that inheritance will be ingrained in your dna right to the point that when you uh, when you have your own family because you know everybody is a new person right is a nobody's like you you are your own person you understand so now when you accept that inheritance right oh when you are born into it you have already accepted it from a spiritual level you have to pay it off by what by clearing that person's karma you understand like i made an example with the physical aspect which is you have to pay off the debt and all the problems it's like you know say for example right you have your uncle he has a car right and then he gives you that car when he gets a new one. Or he just says, you know what, I can't drive anymore, I'm old, let me give you this car, right? Whatever, like, problems, right? And anything else that is wrong with that car is gonna be here to be, I mean, you're gonna be the one that has to fix it and pay it off, you understand? So, that's a great example right there that when you 
inherit something, right? Whether it's money, a house, a car, anything that is physical. If you are the one that's been written off as the inherit of those things, right? Even if you are born, being the only child, you are the sacrificial lamb of your family. Because, like I said, all their sweat and tears, all their blood, sweat and tears that went into making that a success, right, is now carried on to you. So if you fail, right, to uphold those things, right, then you will have to pay with your life, you know. What you are can't manifest. You can only be what those people had the desires for you to be. You understand? So you might be thinking, okay, you know, I want to travel the world. You know, I want to be wealthy, what, 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 right? But you find that for you it's hard, you know. Out of all your, your friends and your people, you find it harder to accumulate success. Even though you have all the tools, right? Like for example, people who are born from, a, you know, humble beginnings, right? They don't have no inheritance. And shit like that. When 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 they grow up, right? They start to look at reality like, okay, I need to know who I am, you know, and what I truly want, right? That's their initial perspective, which is correct, right? But when you inherit something, right, you don't really have the, you know, ability, right, to ha to uphold something that you did not make manifest. So by default, whilst you are looking at that thing that they gave you as your initial point of, you know, attraction, right, that okay, whatever that I'm gonna get in life is gonna accumulate from this. Another person who isn't born in those circumstances have a better chance because they can actually take from the source, you understand, from who they truly are and accumulate those things, you know. So another example also is to say when you are born in an in a situation where you have to inherit some things, right? Those things, they will control how you think and feel, you understand? So, you will find that you can't really come up with any ideas that are your own. You can all only base your reality off of what the owners, you understand, would have liked for you and the house. So you're looking at yourself from the perspective of the money, the house, and the car, right? Instead of straight from you to manifest what you want. You understand what I mean? So a person who isn't born in an inheritance will always have a greater chance because they have less karma and less baggage to clear off, you understand? And they have much more lighter uh, sacrifices to make, you understand? Which is the bare minimum that is required. You, as a person who's inherited something, you have more sacrifices to make, your own sacrifices, plus the sacrifices of the people that 
presumably gave you those things because they don't give you. He's a hand me down, you understand? You have to deal with everything that comes with it. So you, you're not necessarily living your life. You, your life is second from what is given to you. I don't know if it makes sense, but let's think about it. Let's think about it, guys. So in general, right, that's my, that's how I look at it. That's how I can put it, you know. But I, if you can expand on your own and think about it, you're going to see that, you know what, like for example, right, if you are a person who's inherited things, then you know you can have a, pro, a, a good foundation, right, or a proper starting point, you understand? You can establish your own starting point and say, you know what, these things I've inherited them, right, but I will not let them come first you understand they will always be second they will always be a you know sort of like a safety net right that you know if things don't go my way then at least i have you know some things even though i will have to you know uphold and sacrifice for but at least i've tried to you know, give my own approach, right? So, if you're a person who's not in an inheritance situation, right? Then, you know that, okay, it's an advantage for you to actually start to know yourself, you know? Because for you, you don't even have some things to uphold other than the gift of life itself you understand so i know i went a little bit deeper here but that's it right there g peace